It seems like problems with the unemployment office and benefits are happening way too many times. This time it's a little different though. Instead of waiting for benefits, tonight, the case of he didn't ask for the benefits and that could hurt his chances for housing. 10 on your side's Chris Horn has the story. Chris. Yeah, Regina, if you live in federally subsidized housing, there's a limit to your income. When Jim McCurdy was going through the annual renewal process for his lease, $17,000 turned up in phantom income. But for the time being, it can have really, very real consequences. We got the living room out here. Jim McCurdy likes his home in the Langley Square Apartments in Hampton, here. and he doesn't want to lose it. But this mistaken document he's pointing to. Where it shows that I was paid $17,000 in unemployment that I know nothing about. Is putting his home in jeopardy. It turned up earlier this year during his annual renewal for his HUD subsidized housing. My jaw dropped. I was like, what are you talking about? Problem is, he has the burden of proof to show that he didn't get the money. In other words, he's presumed guilty until he can prove his innocence. You need to get this figured out and get back to us because it is in violation of your lease agreement. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh no, this can't be happening. McCurdy tried to reach the VEC several times and would be put on hold and then disconnected. He believes it's a case of identity theft. If they say they paid that money, they paid that money to somebody. You can come face to face with that person or group of persons, what would you tell them? You're cruel. They're getting the money somehow, but in the meantime, there's a lot of people like me getting the shaft. Meanwhile, McCurdy says the staff at Langley Square has been sympathetic to his plight, but until he can get the problem cleared up, he knows that eviction remains a possibility. Of course, we'll notify the VEC and update this story with any resolution. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.